Hey cuties, Pidgey here, welcome back to a new video and in this video the Monster High news train is not stopping because we have our first look at the new Cleo Denial 2022 reboot doll. Yes, oh my god, here she is. We have finally have a full on look at what the overall aesthetic is going to be for these new uh, 2022 monster idols so let's get into it okay, i did post a test run video of with these leaks as well and i did that because i heard uh courtly jester you know a long time ago she uh you know posted uh, she covered the blurry pictures on these reboot dolls and her video got uh, her a copyright strike which is not good um that's not good you don't want that if you're doing youtube uh like professionally so um, I, it scared me because I don't want that to happen to me. So and because these pictures are not blurry, they're full clear pictures now. Um, I thought, OK, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to post a test run video of some of these le leaks, including Cleo. Um, and let's see how it does. And I think it's going well. It's only been an hour, you know, so I, I think. But even th even then, I feel like, you know, if I would have gone into trouble it would have happened already so i really hope it's okay i make this video i mean it's just it's a leak i cover a ton of leaks and i've never gotten into any trouble um with pictures using pictures so I, I feel like i don't know i hope it's okay um but it did really scare me so i really hope i don't get into any trouble because <laughs> these are like clear pictures but anyways so thank you to everyone who left comments on that test run video um yeah it's a shame that i had to either private or delete that video because it's not you know it's not the real deal this video is the real deal so thank you once again and uh please feel free to leave comments on this video as well but please be um be kind you know don't be hateful because uh two people who maybe but like yeah, this let's doll let's get into the actual leak so at doll obsession is actually the account who posted this picture first of this first look at monster high reboot 2022 cleo um and we have gotten like i mentioned blurry pictures of these reboot dolls and i did cover those pretty sure in an older video um and again i didn't get in i didn't get into any trouble so i don't know why you know so that's what scared me but anyways um and in those blurry pictures we can actually see that you know this is the same doll so in fact those pictures we saw are legit um and that means that that's what they're gonna look like so i mean they're gonna look better because it's obviously a better picture <laughs> so here is her outfit here she is cleo in her box the boxes look really simple i like the shape um and the box seemed to have they all seem to have like accessories sunglasses an eye coffin a little coffee drink or something even like a burrito what is that <laughs> is that food a burrito wrap girl cleo's going to taco bell <laughs> you know what that means um no i don't actually know what that means i don't go to taco bell we don't have taco we don't have taco bell here so but that's really funny if that's a burrito i'm just saying that's, that's funny um she seems to come with like an extra jacket and maybe a dress i'm not sure i feel like i think that's a jacket yeah she comes with a jacket that has like fringe so the jacket's okay i i don't think she needs it I don't think she needs it. I don't think she needs a jacket, y'all. I, I like her as she is. Um, she does come with her new pet, Anubis. Uh, obviously, a play on the, you know, the the ancient um, Egyptian. Uh, is, is he a god? Anubis, I think it's like he's a god, right? So um, he's the one that has like the head of a of a dog and i don't know what specific terminology to use here i'm not a i don't really i'm not really good with uh, history um but anubis you know he's the most he's one of the most famous like egyptian gods or you know like um again just like a, a big figure um so yeah and uh he's cute i think he's cute yeah it's cute i mean obviously we have his set or right and and i feel like she's i don't know why they had to ditch the the app the pets for new pets um but uh, i also kind of get why they did it because they really want to like reinvent everything which means new pets um that so that's cool that's okay for me i i don't mind it i mean because we're over we're always gonna have his set you know we're always gonna have his set she's not gonna go away it's just this is a new a new version of clear which includes a new pet 
um she doesn't seem to come with a diary i hope they come with diaries that would be so awesome i hope they also come with doll stands or something but um that's everything else she comes with oh, yeah, in the I box to mention, she also seems to come with like a makeup compact in the shape of like a gem so that's cute um but yeah the cleo doll herself um obviously they have new body sculpts all together face sculpts they're not reusing the original monster high sculpts anymore and for better or worse i feel like that's gonna be we're gonna see how that plays out but i think for me personally i don't mind it i like that they are actually really giving all the girls new looks with the face-ups new face sculpts uh new hairstyles cleo here has a really nice headpiece uh she doesn't have any bangs no bangs which is weird because in the trailer in the teaser we saw cleo having bangs so maybe again and she doesn't she cuts her i don't know she has a new hairstyle um her hair seems to have some mix in deep blue she no longer has gold um her outfit is reminding me of the original cleo with the gold and the teal touches and i like that it's kind of like a mixture it's not the same thing and i definitely like her outfit here more than the um 2016 Clio, um, which if you don't know already, I actually don't hate this 2016 reboot. I like them for what they are. Um, of course, they are obviously an acquired taste for a lot of people, but um, I don't view them as necessarily like Monster High. They're just like, they're cute. They're cute versions of Monster High. And I'm glad to see here that they are not too cute. They are like an in-between of 2016 and 2020 Monster High. Um, they're like a good mixture and you can tell these are teenagers they're not kids not like um, the 2016 Monster High characters who looked more younger like 14 15 these characters they look like 17 you know they, they look like teens they're graduating soon they're doing stuff you know like they look like young adults to me at least so I like that she at least looks more mature in that sense not too childlike she she just looks like a teen so <laughs> that's it's awesome. really interesting though because cleo uh again she i mean actually she does have some gold streaks what am i saying but they're not as pronounced anymore her blue streaks are more pronounced and so her face sculpt it is new she does look like cleo because she has the same makeup and i like that they even gave her like the gold strip on the bottom lip she has some dangly earrings and a triangle obviously and uh she has some long sleeves with bandage print on them and then she has this like wrap around belt with the little like um mesh teal texture over it um i like her dress it's cute her necklace really cute her purse as well um her shoes is what i feel like most people are not liking um i like the, the shape of the boots i i like how they look but i don't like the choice they made with painting the tips red i'm sure it has some significance you know with the you know the color um but it just doesn't look good because she doesn't have any red on her outfit um and unless you know they count her lipstick that's red i don't know i feel like it looks cute i need to see the sides the sides of the boots i want to see the heel because uh, we know monster high is awesome with creating heels and shoes so um it's not too bad i just i don't i don't know why they had to color the tip red necessarily everything else is okay um i don't know why um she it seems like she has bandages under her um left leg right uh so from our perspective it's the right leg but from her perspective it would be the leg the left leg on <laughs> on one leg it doesn't matter what side it is on one leg she has like it seems like a white bandage uh, up to her knee is that fabric is that molded on is that painted on i don't know um it doesn't look like she has any other bandages anywhere else so that's a shame because like in a 2016 reboot something i did like um is that they actually molded on her bandages to her arms to her knees that was really cool and then here it seems that because they have brand new body types, body molds, sculpts, face sculpts, um, they gave up on the bandages being molded on. That's a shame. I hope we do see some kind of bandages, even if they're just, you know, fabric and they're just removable. It's still important because 
that's a big part of Cleo. You know, Cleo's a mummy. <laughs> so it's kind of her now, thing. Now, what's really cool is that actually Adult Obsession explained in the caption that from the information that they received, it seems like all the girls would act will actually have different height differences from Frankie being the tallest to Jaculora being the shortest. And it looks like Cleo is right in between. So that's really awesome that we're actually finally getting some uh, a shorter Draculaura doll because you know obviously in the series Draculaura always been has always been a smaller character and so it's actually really cool to see her actually be a smaller character in this new reboot um then the height differences means different body types means um yeah that's that's so much more inclusion and um, that's something I feel like it's going to work really well to make him look more unique and distinguishable. Thanks, so you at Couture Your Dolls on Instagram. We also have a side-by-side -side of the blurry picture we got a while ago with the new picture. Now, it looks like they are wearing different outfits. So, perhaps that's a different Cleo. And this is a basic and lastly, Cleo. thanks to at Rebel Queen 830 on Instagram. We have a side-by-side -side of all three different iterations of Cleo over the years. Oh, my God. It's been a crazy ride, y'all. Um, I would rank them as five follows obviously og is always going to be number one and then we have 2022 for me she looks she's taking the second spot and then lastly we have 2016 cleo um she's the weakest um but yeah so i really like this new look for cleo it's still cleo but it's a different version of her it's a new iteration um yeah it's a new side to her i mean she still looks like cleo she just has a different face and body. I feel like That's a lot all. of people are either not going to like her outfit or the fact that she has a completely new face up and uh, face mold and body sculpt. So, um, and I get that change is difficult. It's always scary, but sometimes change can also bring many good things. And I feel like we just got to have hope. And I... I like this new look for Cleo, like I mentioned already in this video. I think it looks good on her. It suits her. It's a different iteration of Cleo, and that's fine. I'm uh, I'm okay with that because we're always going to have the first generation Cleo, you know, that we can hold dear to her, our hearts. But um, Natal's really, we got to remember, this is really, they're trying to introduce Ma Monster High to a brand new generation of, of kids and teens you know and for that purpose it's completely understandable that they're trying to really create a new new view of monster high a new look to monster high and obviously it's not going to look exactly like the original monster high because that's exactly what they're trying to get away from right they're trying to make it a new thing so yeah i feel like you know there's no use in in being angry about it happening so we might as well just try to look at the positives right so overall i really like her look and i'm not just saying that to be like oh my god i love her like i actually like her i really do it might take some chat it might take some time for some to get used to her look but i feel like overall a lot of people really like her her look her outfit um because it looks and feels like cleo it's just in a, a newer version of Cleo. <laughs> but yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know what you thought of this new look for Cleo. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know down below and please stay respectful in a comment. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more Monster High doll news, movie news, animated show news, giving you daily content and keeping you up to date with all the latest doll tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.